Hello to everyone. My name is Giselle Stewart, and I'm here with my partner, Jeff Haber. We are so excited to be here today. Thank you for joining us, um, for people all over the world. We are inside the 787 Final Assembly Building, and guess what? We are going to give you an exclusive look, a special look, at what we do here and really talk about what makes the 787-10 Dreamliner such a special addition to the 787 family. Thanks, Giselle. And we're especially excited today because we are going to be celebrating the delivery to one of our great customers, Singapore Airlines, the first 787-10. And if you look behind me, you can see right between Giselle and myself, you can see in the background a 787-10, like the one Singapore is going to get. And in front of that is one of their Scoot, a part of the Singapore Air Group, their 787-9. Uh, Scoot also has 787-8s, so they're going to be the first customer that has the entire 787 family, the 787-8, dash 9, and dash 10. And we're so excited to celebrate with Singapore Airlines. And the funny, the great thing about it is that you'll be able to join us live tomorrow. Um, and so please uh, get information from our Facebook page. And I'm sure you're going to have questions along the way. And so you'll have the opportunity to submit questions in the comment section of Facebook. So please tune in. We'd love to get your questions and I'm happy to answer them. So now, some people may not know exactly what we do here in Boeing, South Carolina, so I think it might be helpful to give a, a brief overview of, of what we do. Sounds good to me, Giselle. So just like our site in Everett, Washington, we bring together sections of the airplane that are built from partners from all over the world. So we roll it out. We actually paint it here in our paint facility. We test it, and then we deliver it to the customer. And can you believe that our first delivery was back in 2012? Wow. And so we've accomplished a lot since then. So our team performs uh, a lot of the work with uh, different sections of the plane. For example, um, the uh, middle fuselage or mid-body, which is, comes from Italy. And then we also build sections of the airplane um, as well. And so what we do is we have our aft fuselage, which is the rear of the airplane. We bring all the sections together in final assembly and we deliver it, whether it's either in Everett or in South Carolina. And so a lot of work is done, but you know, I think let's spend some time talking a little bit about the Dash 10 and the significance. That's a good idea. Yeah. So this is a, today, this weekend, it's a great accomplishment for the entire Boeing family. The 787 family in Everett, the 787 family here, and all of our partners around the world, and more importantly for our our customers. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there are a lot of av geeks out there <laughs> watching to get up this early in the morning, so I'm probably going to say a few things you already know, but for the rest of you, you should be you should know that the 787 family will be is 20% more fuel efficient than the airplanes it replaced. As a matter of fact, since its introduction in the service in 2011, we have saved 23 billion pounds of fuel with the 787 family. Wow. And the 78710, because it has, oh, about 40 more seats than the 77-9, will be 25% more efficient uh, than the airplanes it replaced. It's, it's a phenomenal accomplishment. And the 787-10, this family, will all have the same exact passenger experience. Now, I just want to take a second to tell you about what makes a 787-10 a 787-10. Well, first of all, it's about 18 feet, about uh, five something meters longer than a 787-9. And here's a little secret. Here's how I always tell. If you look at the 787-10 between the first two doors, there are 19 windows. This is how I do it, uh, uh, Boeing engineer. And the 787-9, there are only uh, 14 windows. So that's how you can tell. It's a little bit longer. We stretched the fuselage to add these extra seats. So 25% more efficient than the airplanes it replaced, and I may add, 10% more efficient than the newest airplane the uh, competitor has come out with. So a great day for celebration, a great family, the Dash 8, the Dash 9, and Dash 10. Singapore will be the first airline to operate all three. We're really, really excited for this great accomplishment. Oh my goodness, and this accomplishment would not happen without the Boeing team. Us working together, Achieving this big accomplishment Absolutely. and achieving this milestone is, is amazing. And I think it would be great for us to also pull in some of our teammates who had the opportunity to work 
on the plane. Do we have anybody around? Uh, I think we do. <laughs> um, our first guest is going to be Nancy Smith, who works in Final Assembly. Nancy. So, yes. So please welcome She's Nancy. She's working today. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. Welcome. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank you. You know, so we wanted to allow you the opportunity to share a little bit about what you do and how long you've been here. Okay. I'm going on seven years here at Boeing. Wow. And I love it. I started out on our first aircraft. And now with the, uh, working on the Dash 10, the biggest Dreamliner, uh, biggest airplane in the world built here. It's so exciting. So happy and proud to work here. Right. And you said that you work in the interiors, which I yep. know is an important feature for Singapore. Yeah, I work on the interiors of the airplanes, and they're absolutely beautiful interiors. And we, I install some of the uh, parts of the stove bins and the galleys and the carpeting and the seats and the valances, and right. it's fun. So it's now tell me a little bit about, because you've been here for a few years now, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about how or what this milestone means for you and the team. And the milestone for the Singapore, just to see the, the, the beauty of that aircraft is unbelievable. It's so beautiful, and it's so exciting to see that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know you spend some time working with the customers themselves, the Singapore folks. What is that like? It's, it, customers, I love the diversity and it, of all of our customers from around the world here, and it's so exciting to work with them and help them out on their interiors of their plane. Well, that's great. Terrific, Nancy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much well, for joining you. us and uh, for your contribution. And, you know, just appreciate it and enjoy your Saturday. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye, Absolutely. Nancy. Bye. And as I felt, I'm sure there are a lot of questions that are coming in. I know that we have people watching from Italy, Dubai, Iraq, Jamaica, better weather than what we're having here, uh, Denmark, Portugal. So people hey, from all over the world. I'm from Seattle. I think the weather's great. <laughs> I think the weather's great here. Absolutely. That, that's fair to say. So uh, I know that we're going to have questions that are going to be coming in, but let's go ahead and uh, bring up uh, Jacob Huey, who is our other teammate that is going to be joining us and sharing a little bit okay, about good his plan. experience. Hey, Hi, Jacob. How, How you doing? doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, now, you tell us what you do and how long you've been here. So I'm a supply chain operations uh, manager in the aft body. Uh, I've been here about six years. Mm -hmm. um, I came here previously from uh, being in the military for seven years as an aviation electrician. And um, we essentially, our team um, delivers all the parts for the airplane uh, to get to the floor to the mechanics. Awesome. Now tell us a little bit with your experience. I know you're a veteran, and thank yep. you so much for your service. Thank you. How does that impact um, your ability to, to work as a team, and how does that then impact your ability to, to really influence um, our milestone, which is delivering our first uh, Dash 10 to the Singapore Airlines. Uh, so working in the Navy, you have all kinds of leadership, um, or in military in general, you have all kinds of leadership uh, opportunities. And uh, being able to work with people and uh, lead to specific projects, I was able to hone some skills over the years um, and then uh, essentially to be able to come here and work, start out as a mechanic, mm -hmm. and then um, work through the Dash nine, the 8 and Dash 9. And then now with the Dash 10, I lead a team uh, that delivers the parts to the planes, works with quality, works with quality assurance, engineering every day. And um, essentially for us to be able to cor um, correlate all those activities together and get the product or the parts to the plane on time so we can meet those customer demands and build uh, this beautiful plane uh, that we're about to deliver tomorrow. And beautiful plane it is. So now tell me a little bit more about just the excitement of you know being, you know over the years you've come to the place now where your team has worked together as one. Tell me a little bit more about the excitement that you feel sure. tomorrow um, as we deliver the plane to Singapore Airlines. Yeah, so when I first started here, actually this building final assembly here was actually empty. Uh -huh. And uh, to be able to see a transition, not only the, the, the planes coming in and out and the different customers, uh, we have uh, the, the, the mock tail sections up on the on the end of the factory wall or for every airline and every uh, company we deliver to. Um, to see those uh, um, be uh, at more and more added throughout the years is uh, really significant. Um, we can see ourselves growing as a site, and uh, we're uh, essentially composing ourselves to be um, a, a, a real leader in, in the industry. Um, we have uh, we have a unique ability here uh, to deliver uh, new derivatives like this only in South Carolina. Yeah. And for the team to be able to do that, they're, sen they're seeing all their work come to fruition mm -hmm. and actually um, uh, come to a final product, seeing it take off and be delivered to a, a customer is pretty amazing. Absolutely. I know they're really proud of that. Yeah. Well, you know what? I can tell and I can see the pride that you and the team have. So we appreciate your work. We thank Absolutely. you for 
your service as a veteran, and thank, thank you. you so much for joining us Absolutely. today. Absolutely, thank you very much. Thanks, Jacob. See you later. Take care. All right, so with all the conversations that we've been having, I know we have questions, so let us uh, start with our first question. So, first question, why did you choose composites over for the 787? I'm, I'm so glad they asked. <laughs> the, the composite materials for the 787, composites are lighter, stronger, more durable. They don't, they don't corrode. And the thing that's amazing to me is the way we build the fuselage sections of the 787. Some of it's done here. We just make a giant tube made entirely out of composite. You lay up the materials and then you put it into a, an autoclave, a, essentially an oven, and it comes out to be hard, strong, and durable. The thing I, I like to tell people, uh, the, another component such as the floor beams, which are also composite, they don't corrode, so if people spill their drinks on them, they're, they're not going to corrode. It's the toughest, strongest, it's the material of the future that we use in the 787 today. Okay. Well, now, I'm sure this is another question that you've been uh, waiting for. What makes the 787-10 so special? So, the thing that makes it, well, it's hard to know where to begin. But <laughs> from, a, from an airline standpoint, it's the fuel efficiency. We talked that before. We've also talked about the range, which is about 6,400 nautical miles, and we've done our calculations. And from Singapore, we can reach 80% of the world's population uh, with the 787-10. And the other thing that makes it special, what makes the rest of the 787 family, is the, is the passenger experience. Do you want me to talk about the passenger experience now? Or? Absolutely. I think that is probably one of the, well, so, for me as a passenger that's never flown a 787, makes me excited to hear what those features cool. are. So you should fly one. <laughs> so what we did for the 787 cabin, it's a research-based approach. And what we've decided to do, what we did, was to reconnect people to the flying experience. I ask people all the time, what was your first airplane flight like? Oh, it was so fun. I felt like I was flying. It was great. Yep. We want to somehow to recreate that experience. And we do it in several ways. We do it in ways that people can see like the large dimmable windows wherever you sit on a 787 when you fly mm -hmm. the place that you will sit you'll be able to see out the window oh, number wow. one yeah. number two we've made big beautiful bins where you could carry all your stuff people care about their stuff <laughs> so there's things that you could see but there's also things you can feel for example we've lowered the cabin altitude so that the air is thicker and we've increased the humidity so that when you get off the airplane, you feel good. People have come off the 787 Dreamliner and said, you know, I came off the airplane, I feel good. Mm -hmm. So we've done this research-based approach to reconnect people to the flying experience. And it's going to be in ways that you could see, like the windows and the bins, and ways that you could feel, like the altitude. And also, we've put in a system to reduce turbulence. So there'll be, it turns out to be eight times less turbulence when you're flying on a Dreamliner. So clearly we're excited and passionate and energetic about uh, the Dash 10 and the passenger experience. Let's go to a question that we um, have from sure. Facebook. So how different is it for pilots from the 787-8 and 787-9? So that's a great question. It's not. <laughs> because we have a really common family, for pilots, it's exactly the same. Mm, okay. Well, now, I think that is that really leads me to thinking about the customer. And what are some of the significant changes or impacts that the 787 Dreamliner family has made um, in the market? So, so the Dreamliner has been a phenomenal success in the market. Mm -hmm. We have over 1,300 orders. We've delivered about 700. We fly almost 700 routes. And of those 700 routes, 170 of them are new, places that airplanes did not fly before. So it gives people the opportunity to fly from point to point. That was our dream, pun intended, when we, de when we designed the Dreamliner so that people could go point to point, where they want to go, when they want to go. And 170 times over, the, the Dreamliner has proven that it can do that. Wow, amazing, amazing. So I did see a question about how much does a 787-10 cost? So funny you should ask that because people ask that all the time. And believe it or not, you can go onto Boeing.com and you can find the list price of all of our of all of our airplanes. So it's a little bit more than a car. <laughs> so you can go look up those prices. It's in the hundreds of millions of dollars are the list prices for our airplanes. Gotcha. So now here's the question that I think maybe a lot of our viewers are probably wondering. Mm -hmm. What is a composite? So a composite, it's made out of a material called 
uh, Kevlar, and when it starts, it looks like like thread, like tape. And we take this this carbon base. That's the composite part. It's a carbon based material called Kevlar that we make into this little tape, and we roll the tape around this big dowel called a mandrel, and that's how we make the fuselage. Then you take this Kevlar tape, this carbon-based tape, and you heat it. You put some resin, some glue in it to make it strong, and when it gets heated, it gets solid and strong and completely durable and corrosion resistant. Okay. Well, um, I'm sure there's going to be additional questions that are going to come in. I think that uh, we have... Oh, I do see a question coming in right now. So This is just in. <laughs> it's just in. So I saw a lot of news about Perth to London. Can you talk a little bit about that route? Well, uh, one of our great partners, we and all of our customers are great, one of our great customers, Qantas, is flying a 787, even as we speak, I think it's in the air, mm -hmm. nonstop from Perth in Australia uh, to London. Uh, I'm not sure the exact distance, but I know the time is approximately uh, 17 hours. So the folks on the Dreamliner, are going to be lucky that they have this tremendous passenger experience. So you speak about the passenger. Tell, tell us about whether or not the experience is the same on a 787-10 than the other derivatives. So it's exactly the same. One of the things we try to do at Boeing is we try to create a family experience. We have our 787 family, the Dash 8, the Dash 9, the Dash 10. Uh, we also have, a little commercial, we have our wonderful Max family, 789 and soon 10 and our 777 family. So we work really hard as a company to create a, a, a family experience so that when airlines and customers buy our airplanes, that experience is recreated, same experience, no matter what model they buy. Is it a, an 87-8, a dash 9, a dash 10, 777, or a max? So what are some of the other comments that you hear from um, passengers as they talk about their experience of, of the Dash 10? Well, uh, for, well for the Dreamliner, First of all, a lot of people are like you. They've not flown on one. Yes. They go, I want to fly on a Dreamliner. Right. And I've known several people, lots of people, that when they go to pick a flight, they look for a flight, they look for an airline, a destination that has a 787, mm -hmm. that flies a 787. Yes, I do that. In, in the, in, you know, in the aviation business, that's unprecedented. Mm -hmm. But because of what we do for passengers, mm -hmm. it's, it's worth it. Yep. Um, I think... We have more questions, but we will save them. Um, so why don't we, well, actually, I think that's all we have. Um, no more questions. What we want to do is wrap up, and thank you for joining us for our live uh, show. Thank you, Jeff, for uh, joining You're me. Welcome. It's been a great experience. We encourage you to uh, join us tomorrow for the delivery of our 787-10 to our launch customer, Singapore Airlines. And you can get that information on our Facebook page. And you can also see uh, a new feature that we have, which is a cool flight tracker. You can join us again on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining us. And hashtag Dreamliner. Hashtag Dreamliner. Thank you. <laughs> Take right. care.